So when it comes to controlling the YouTube content for the users on your network, so if I go to firewall, I'll go to PF Blocker NG, and in PF Blocker NG, if we go to DNS BL, and here we will see DNS BL Safe Search. When you click on this, you can see here that YouTube restriction it's moderate. Of course, you can do moderate, strict, or disabled. I will do moderate here. And if I click here on check YouTube content restriction, so you can see here DNS restrictions are on. Moderate restrictions for www.youtube.com, YouTube Google API.com, YouTube dash no cookies.com and YouTube Google APIs.com and m.youtube.com. HTTP header restrictions are off. So we will be covering only DNS redirection. And if I try to open any YouTube video, for example, here is the channel sync bricks and let me try to open any video so suppose this is the video and if i try to add any comment here you can see here a restricted mod has hidden comment on this in order to achieve this youtube restriction so you have to follow these steps first of all you need to make sure your pf sense is the only dns server on your network so how you can do it you will go here to services and in services DNS resolver or DNS forwarder. So forwarder will of course send all the DNS requests to some other DNS server which could be outside or inside your network and DNS resolver will be resolving locally and maintaining the local database. So I have configured it on local so DNS resolver or uh, this works as a DNS server. So you need to make sure this is your local DNS server. I'll come back to this again but before that what we need to do we need to make sure that even if any user on your network is trying to change the DNS server. So still your still PFSense automatically redirects them to this server. So all the traffic of the DNS must pass through PFSense. So what you are going to do, you will be going to firewall, you will be going to NAT. So you will create a port forwarding here. So as I have already created, so I will show you what has to be done. So when you create the NAT rule, you have to create on the interface LAN. Address family will be IPv4, protocol will be TCP, UDP, and here you will see destination. You will do invert match and invert match will be LAN address. So destination will be LAN address and what will be the destination port? It will be DNS. And what will be redirect target IP? Redirect target IP will be address or alias 127.0.0.1. What target port will be DNS so you will simply click on save the moment you save of course now what is happening that whatever DNS requests will be coming from the LAN it will be redirect to this address which is of course pfSense for pfSense this is the local address you can mention the pfSense address also which is 10.11.12 or whatever but in case in future you change the address of this you don't need to go in every place and change the IP addresses so that's why so this is the local host IP for pfSense which is fine. So this is the first setting that you need to do in the NAT, which I mentioned that in port forwarding, you will do this particular configuration. Then what you need to do, so I will go to services and here is DNS resolver. You need to update the DNS records for the restricted YouTube. You can see here what is mentioned here in YouTube restriction content page. It is saying that DNS restrictions are on and moderate restrictions are there for these DNS. How it has to be done, if you go here to control YouTube content, I will be providing its link also. Only apply these settings to network used by employees or students. Configuration is not recommended for the network used by the ISP customers. So this has to be, of course, uh, restricted in your office or at your home or wherever you want to restrict it. So what is the first option? First option is DNS restriction. So what you need to do here, you need to open your DNS server settings and you need to add these C names, www.youtube.com, m.youtube.com, youtubeapi.google, apis.com and youtubegoogleapis.com. And these, uh, to set the restricted access, set the C name value to restrict.youtube.com. To set the moderate restrict access, you can set the C name value to restrictmoderate.youtube.com. These are should not be done. Only these has to be done. So what I have done, I will just show you, you will go back here to PFSense. Again, in DNS Resolver, down here, if you see, I have added these five DNS records. Here, of course, in target, I cannot add the CNAME records. Check what is the CNAME record for 
restrict.google.com. If I go to restrict.google.com, of course, I can do NS lookup also. So I will do what's my DNS.net. Check it. You can see here. This is the IP address of restrict.youtube.com. So I have set up this IP address for all the DNS records. You can see here. This is what has been updated here. It is suggested by, of course, YouTube that you have to add these five DNS records. Only these five has to be added. So you can see here, I have added these five. And the moment you update it and apply the changes, what is going to happen that now your YouTube will be restricted. I'll go back again to Firewall, PF Blocker NG. We will go to DNSBL and DNSBL Safe Search. And here you can see the YouTube restrictions are on and check YouTube restriction content. You will see here that moderate restrict is on. If you want to go to restrict mode, so we will just simply copy this and instead of adding the DNS records as uh, this IP address, I will add this as the IP address now. So you can see here the other IP address. I will go back here to services, DNS resolver. I will go down here to these DNS records. So what is that DNS record? You can see here, 119 is for the restrict mode, 120 is for the moderate mode. And let me change one by one for all. So I'll apply the changes now. And all these DNS records, you can see here that this has been now set. I can go back again to firewall, PF blocker ng, and here in DNSBL, DNSBL safe search mode. And instead of moderate, I will do strict. Save the changes. And we need to, of course, go to update and enforce to update. The update process has ended. So these are all now in the strict mode. And you can see here it is managed by organization administrator. So this is how it works. So you have to change the DNS server, DNS records here. And then you have to here, go here and make the changes to your DNS BL and DNS safe search. And right now it is on strict mode. This was all about YouTube restrictions in DNS BL safe search using PF blocker NG for PFSense. Let us continue to next video now.